No chill, no filter. What's poppin', what's poppin', and what is poppin' again, y'all? Y'all know what it is, man. This is a recap of the Retribution UBL. Am I saying that right? Let's go. UBL, Retribution Battle Event, which was fire. But, um, firstly, let me just, uh, uh just give a couple honorable mentions right now. Um... This was a great weekend with a bunch of great festivities, man. Um, it was a great event. Uh, it went off without a hitch. It was off the hook. Um, all the battles was fire. Um, but for some reason, on my way home, after I saw Lady Loyalty, I pulled back up to the event. And on my way home, it was just, you know, my, 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 my weekend took a turn for the worst. And what happened was I'm on my way home and, you know, I'm dipping in. You know, when you roll in that Hemi, man, you know, for some reason, it just kind of make you put that little extra oomph on the gas pedal. And as I'm rolling right, I see something in the middle of the road. And I'm like, hmm, that looks kind of peculiar until it moved. And when it moved, I'm like, oh, no. And it was a white kitty cat. And I didn't hit it with the wheels. But, you know, as fast as I was going, I rolled over it. And I'm like, okay, good. I didn't hit it. And as I looked at my rear view, I saw it rolling, tumbling. I'm like, oh, no. Make a long story short. I try to dip back around. And you know these assholes in Milwaukee. You know, I see a few more cars behind me. And as I get back to it, I still see the tail moving. I'm like, okay, maybe I can save it. So I get in front of it, turn on my hazards. And I get out the car. And I'm hoping I got something in my trunk, which I did. I had a cover for the wheel. Grabbed the cover for the wheel. And as I walked up on it. Uh, I don't even want to mention it. It was terrible. But the tail was still moving, so I was like, ah, oh, there's nothing I can do about that. So, you know, I left, which is something. That's a sight I could have uh, went the rest of my life without seeing, keeping it 100. Um, and that was like an omen, because I get home, and, you know, in this family, if somebody calls you at between 1 and 5 in the morning, somebody that you, you know, haven't spoken to in a while, I tend to ignore those calls, and especially now they're coming back to back to back to back. And I answer the phone, and of course, you know, it's one of those calls, man. And another one of my young cousins, man. And I'm talking about, like, this hit real hard because I'd have gave my left arm to see him again. Uh, rest in peace, little cuz Ricky, man. I was like my little brother, and every time I talk to him, he always say, you know, you know, because, you know, you need to, you should be respected because you are definitely the one. And then honestly, it hits double hard because, you know, his dad, I lost him when I was eight years old um, to senseless violence over in East St. Louis. And this is where he pretty much passed. Um, all I can say is, man, rest in peace to my little cousin, my little brother, man. Um I'm not feeling very well about this, which is probably what well, which I know is the reason why I didn't do anything yesterday. I was just pretty much laying back and, you know, kind of like taking that all in. Okay, you know, I, I hate to, you know, you know, be a Daryl Downer, but, you know, just had to make an honorable mention of that, man. Um, rest in peace to my little cousin, man. Okay. Now that I've got that honorable mention in, uh, let's go ahead and <laughs> it'll be kind of hard to get, you know, a little bit hype. But as I go along, as I go on, I think um, I think things will, you know, kind of even out. OK, here we go. Rest in peace to the youngin. Um, OK, man. Retribution. Hosted by Lady Loyalty, have my man Norbs in the building as usual. I definitely appreciate that, man. Y'all need to understand something. It got to be something going on here if Norbs is coming to these events. And if you dudes is ducking these type of events, y'all deserve everything that you get, for real. And you need to understand something. I don't want to hear anything about, you know, uh, blah, this, that. Uh, let me tell you something. If you haven't, an, if you if you got a battle scheduled and you got a scout at that battle that can get that can pretty much thrust you into the forefront, and you don't show up, then it is what it is. G Grace post tab battle. Um, this Mr. Smut King Vex the Smut King, and you know I I, I spoke kind of highly on you, man, and then you 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 duck. 
And then I hear that it was, you know, it was it was for it was it was for the wig. Um, is that the reason why you dug fam? Is that the reason why you didn't come through, man? So you mean to tell me after all this hoorah, you and and the man was about to battle. You know what? I ain't gonna even I'm not gonna even say much more about that, man, because you did right. Cause yeah, you you'd have lost your you'd have lost your piece. Cause uh yeah, G Gray was in his bag, keeping it one hundred. You you'd have got murdered. Ain't nothing you could have did against dude that could have done that. And he went up against Emery Forbes on two days prep. Fire the whole battle from from start to finish. Um, let me make sure. Yep, Emery Forbes. So we gonna just jump right in it, man. First battle of the evening, man, was Shooter versus Chris Nitty. Fire, man, on both ends. Chris Nitty had some of them pivotal moments, man, and Shooter. It's like you know what, all the homies, all all the people who I had uh, uh, picked to win, they definitely came to win, man. But their opponents did not come to play, man. But you know. The, the 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 Chris Nitty versus Shooter, that battle was kind of up in the air because they both kind of stumbled or choked or whatever. But, um, I mean, when when it drops, y'all going to have to check it out. Uh, and, of course, I wasn't letting y'all know. We're just going to clear up something real quick. I was not one of the cameramen. Um, I was just there filming for, you know, the purposes of the recaps and the highlight reels. You know, I'm not finna, you know, record all of, you know, the entirety of the battle. You know what I mean? The battle in its entirety because, you know, for the sake of the respect of the uh, original footage that will be dropping. So, you know, I don't do all that. But in any event, you already know that highlight reel going to be popping. So be looking for that. Second battle, G. Gray versus Emery Forbes. Damn. Both of them was fire. And uh, once again, two days prep, man. Uh, G. Great came to fight. That man came to fight, fight. You know what I mean? And when I say came to fight, fight, hey, G. Gray was, <laughs> G. Gray was kind of fire. As a matter of fact, man, I got to, I, I just got to, I got to, oh, no, I didn't get that, did I? That man said something about being the boss. And, you know, if he don't like the way it goes, you know what, y'all going to see it, man. But, yeah, G. Gray left Earth. Um, he he got off, man. Emery Forbes was fire also, which is going to be another battle that y'all going to have to see on cam. If I had to give it to somebody, I still wouldn't be able to because it was just, it was fire on both sides, man. So, ain't really nothing I can can really say about that. It's kind of like a toss-up. But that's good, though, because like first and second battles, two toss-ups because they was just that fire. It wasn't because they both was whack. It was because they both was fire. Third battle. Main event, they said, look, nah, 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 we ain't finna wait for the, to the end. We gonna do ours right now. Thank y'all. Because for real, for real, the way the, way the energy was in the room, y'all did it at the right time. And man, that two on two, Chef Trez and G-Lo versus Hoodlum and my man, Mike G. Damn. Yeah, that's all I can say about that. Damn. Chef Life versus Hoodlum gang, damn, dude, look, Mike G and Hoodlum, all I'm going to say is, man, Mike G left the planet, that nigga, he, he took a, he took a giant leap, I just love the way this, this, this young dude is, is progressing, his, his progression is just ridiculous, man, Hoodlum, you, you, you was punching with him, man, and, and it was like, it was just to a point where y'all chemistry was decent, um, but, but Mike G, you know, that dude, th that's all I'm going to say. You know what I mean? Uh, Chef Trez and G Lo was so in sync with each other. They had the, they prep was on point. You know what I mean? They, they did a performance. They, they took care of their business, man. That, that was, like I said, that was an evenly matched battle. And man, once again, another, <laughs> dude, I don't know, man. Uh, you know, E. Lee was talking about he got chef life. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to really look at it again. Like from the footage that I have, I got it even. But I don't have all of the punches. But Mike G, though, he was, he was one of those, you know what I mean? He was one of those battlers that night. You know what I mean? He was one of those battlers because he definitely, he definitely left Earth. And he had plenty room shakers, man. He's one of the reasons why I was like, okay... I don't really need to record anything else. Even if you do have any more room shakers, I have some very, very, very hard room shakers on my camera. And I'm going to show them to y'all in the highlight reel. 
Um, I wanted to do it yesterday, but like I said, I was going through something. Okay, man. Fourth battle. I am seven versus Jay Savage. This guy was kind of he, he was he was kind of different. Yeah, with the mask and stuff like that. You know, he came um, as a showman. You know, and his showmanship was was decent, man. But Jay Savage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay Savage was hard. Jay Savage came with that energy. And now that battle right there, it was fire. But I have to give that to Jay Savage. Jay Savage definitely, he, he came to cook. And that's what he did, man. A whole big old pot of gumbo with all the ingredients. You know what I'm talking about? Good shit, Jay Savage, man. I definitely like that battle, man. You on your way. And I kind of figured it was going to be like that. Buck versus PT. Buck. Oh, man. You know, Buck gonna always come with that fire, man. And I didn't, I wasn't expecting PT to do what he did. So that was kind of like a shocker. But, you know, Buck versus PT, I would have to look at that footage again because they both was fire. Once again, you know, you had two fire battlers, man, that really, really, they got off. They, they took care of their business in real life, man. And I like both sides. So. I mean, of course, you already know I'm a I'm a fan of the Uncle Buck, you know what I mean? But I can't be biased. I can't just say, okay, Buck won because that's the homeboy, you know what I mean? And if I wanted to, I could say Buck won because he's the homeboy. But I would have to say Buck won because of the, ba the bars, you know what I mean? I can't just sit up there and, and base it off him being the homeboy, you know what I mean? But Buck got off. He, he, he definitely took care of what he was supposed to have taken care of. Um, PT, however, PT swung back. I mean, he was swing he swung back and he landed. So y'all gonna have to check that out. I'm not gonna throw that up in the air like that, but I will say both sides got off. So I mean, once again, you might have to just see it on cam. On the floor, Buck had more energy. I'm just gonna put it that way. So if I had to give it to anybody, I would say Buck. But don't get it twisted, man. PT was fire. Um, last battle, man, finally got it right, uh, <laughs> the OG said it was Lyriscologist, then when I actually talked to him, it was a young lady sitting there, she said Lyriscologist, and then dude himself said, it's Lyriscologist, man, okay, cool, Lyriscologist versus human, Lyriscologist is, the energy is dead, he just so hard when I split his apple and leak his battery pack acid. Mm -hmm. I okay. said, I'll cut his apple up. That, you know what I mean? I just, and then, you know, human was. No, that, 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 that tough talk unusual. Your shirt say disrespecting gun bars. You disrespecting gun bars by doing it. So, you know, you got you got you got you got like that dead energy versus that you know what I mean, that 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 hype energy. You know, you can't you know, you can't you know, you just can't. You know, I, that's all that's how I'm, that's all I'm gonna say about that one, man. I I like the human's energy, man. Lyricologist and look, I'm not being biased. I'm not I'm not a hater of lyricologists, you know. It was just like I said, his name was so disturbing and I, I just it just disturbed my spirit. Now I know it and then Looking at the battle, I, you know, it was, you know, the performance. You know, I'm, I'm just looking for something hype like human. You know, human came with that with that hype energy. It was it was up here. You know, while lyricologist was just stayed kind of neutral. You know, so you know, but he had bars. Don't get it twisted. He had bars, but they just wasn't they wasn't no landing there. You know, so if I had to say. You know, that wasn't really a toss-up. I would have to say uh, Human uh, took that battle. But, you know, once again, y'all can check it out on camera when it actually come out. And then y'all can pretty much decide for yourself. And then, you know, you can pretty much let me know. Also, there are a lot of battles that I haven't seen. If I've said, like, if I'm, like, anybody that I'm talking about on this uh, recap, if y'all have a link, please drop it down, man, so I can check a couple of these battles out. Because people asking me, have I seen this battle? Have I seen that battle? Do you, you need to understand something. 
To No Chill, No Filter TV, I am everything. I am the PR. I'm Look, from top to bottom, and I'm not saying that to say, oh, yeah, I'm the best. I'm saying that to say I don't have a lot of time to go and look at other battles or, you know, research people the way I should. So if there's a battle that you feel that I should be doing a recap on or I should be checking out because this person got an upcoming uh, battle and, you know, maybe I may be doing a, a prediction vlog on it, drop that in the comments below. Drop that link down there, and I'll be sure to check it out. And I may just, you know what I'm saying, say something about it in my next vlog. Okay, that was the retribution card for the UBL event. Shout out G Gray. He moving right along, and I'm hoping that y'all moving with him. Support that man. Look, the energy in the building was on point. The love was fantastic. I liked it, man, because, you know, it was like people is actually checking me out. I like that, man. And shout out to Stax TV, man. Y'all on y'all way also. I appreciate y'all getting in front of the camera. Y'all going to be in the highlight reel and all that good stuff also. So, yeah, you know I mean, be looking for that. And once again, man, this your big homie, man. That was my recap of the Retribution event, man, battle event. Shout out Norbs, Lady Loyalty, my man Jay Lopez, Bray J, yeah, I'm talking about. Um, of course, you know, all the rest, everybody that had anything to do with that, man. G Gray, of course, I already said Norbs, you know what I mean? The OGs, you know what I'm saying, working the door. Thank y'all for being very, very respectful towards those men because they're out there taking care of their business. It's a family affair. That's the reason why I'm supporting it, you know what I mean? they keeping it in the family, and that's what they're supposed to do. And I see big things happening for the UBL um, Battle League. Did you say UBL Battle League if BL stands for Battle League? You know what? I'm doing it anyway. I don't care. UBL Battle League, you know what I'm saying? Cool. Kudos, brother. It's no chill, no filter TV. It's your big homie MC Ron skiing. I'm about this bitch. Peace.